Hi, my name is John Storm. So today, today I was going through testing all of my Lightorama 16-channel uh, controllers, and I came up on one of my oldest controllers. Actually, this was my first year I bought it in 2010. Instead of coming up saying, you know, CTB 16 PC, came up saying it's a bootloader MP3. So I rebooted my computer, and then it came up okay, but you know, this guy was a little flaky last year, so I was worried about it. So the wisdom of the forums has suggested that I um, Upgrade the firmware. I've not, never done it before, so I'm going to do it. Here, record myself while I'm doing it. I actually make these videos, so if I ever need to, I can go back and check how to do this. So I go to the Lightorama website, go to firmware updates, and of course, firmware. I don't upgrade firmware unless I really have a good reason to. So now I just got to find my controller. It's not a DC controller, it's not an IO. It's not server dog. It is a lot of llama. Here we go. CTV 16 PC. Now it was running 4.40. They come here. It's not a Gen 3. It's an older one. And I see that 4.40 is the most recent stuff. So this is what was already there. So I'm basically just going to reload the same image into Flash that was already there. So I download it. Oh, I already have a copy of it there. And of course, I downloaded it into my download directory. So now, I'm going to go start up the hardware utility. I already got Unit 2 plugged in here. So I hit refresh. Which is my network. You can make it take less time if you take this number down. And this is a base 16 number. Okay, so I found one unit, so it's my CTB16. Now here it's saying the right thing, but given that it's been flaky, I'm going to reload it anyway. So I come down here and I click on the firmware button. Okay, now this is something you want to do real careful, because flashing hardware, if you do it wrong, you can lose it dead. So, step one, select the unit. It's not an MP3 player, it's not a wireless unit. It is the only one connected, but I want to select it by unit above, so I know it is unit 2. So I want it to do that. Select firmware file. This is going to be the one I just downloaded. Wow, I got a whole directory of firmware. So that's not what I want. Downloads. And this is ETB 16 PC V2 version 4.4. Okay, so now I just sit here and build up the nerve to hit the download button. Uh, I know a lot of systems, some systems will have like enough room in Flash where it holds an image and then it can have the active image and then you ready to cut over. It's just a matter of flipping it over, but usually you're overwriting what's there. So if I screw this up and the power goes out, it's messed up. So I guess I just hit download. Alright, so it's loading. So it's flushing data. Send pull data send. Status is loading. Progress bar is moving across. I have a cancel button, but it's grayed out. That means there's no going back. Okay, status bar got all the way to the end. Status successful. So I think that means I'm done. Okay, well, let's see. Uh, let's go back to test. Alright, well, I guess the real test would be to turn this off and turn it back on and make sure everything's still okay. Power it off. One, two, two, let the electron stuff on the end. Turn it back on. I have a red light. Alright, refresh. Let's see. Let's see, it's going to work. Is it going to work? Hey, there it is. Alright, let me put some lights into it. Got my test. Already at that. Yeah, they turn on. Okay. Well,
close it out a little bit more, but that's all it was. It was very easy. Again, uh, I believe the trick is like it, flashing any hardware. You don't want to have a problem in the middle, but it happens pretty quick. So mortality rate should be low. All right, that's it.